Hello! This is Y'all Weasel. Let's play Glory Quest 4 4. In the last episode, we were finally a thief, and then we made our way to the castle simply because we haven't been here yet. And in this episode, we're gonna talk to this charming fellow about the vampires. I mean, not vampires who live in the castle. I'm not certain who all lives in the castle. I so seldom see anyone from there. They're your the employers! <laughs> and then there's the strange foreigner. I'm a strange and foreigner. So the master's daughter, I believe. And some rather strange gods. Beyond that, I really can't say. Uh, let's ask him. Again, like, the order is so weird. The sensible thing to ask about is the master, then maybe the daughter, but probably then the foreigner, because I'm the foreigner. Uh, whatever. The master desires privacy, and I respect that wish. As I always say, <clears throat> the will of the master is the shell of the servant. <laughs> I wrote that. Wow, very, very clever. I haven't actually seen the daughter, but I know the master is quite proud of her. So she's a metaphor for murder or something. He is an unpleasant sort. Like me! Short and Not like me. Nope. And a funny hat. Like me! Rude when giving orders. Yep. And he has the habit of staring at a person and licking his lips. I do that. Most unsavory. Okay, so the foreigner is the vampire. I have only caught glimpses of them occasionally, but I don't think they are quite human. No matter. If a man does a good job, then whether he is a man does not matter. Okay. <laughs> the heads of the Borgov family were the boyars of Mordavia for ages. The last Borgov disappeared, disappeared. in the of darkness. No one knows what became of him. The Time of Darkness. It is bad luck to even speak of the Time of Darkness. And yet you do! Safe and lovely land before that time. Much has changed since then, and for the worse. Boyars are rather like barons of other lands. They own the castle and protect everyone within their domain. Yeah, they seem to be doing a great job of it, too. Uh, Mordavia? Mordavia is the name of this valley and of the town. Even the inn is called the Hotel Mordavia. The name means Dark Valley. Mordavia. Okay, I don't know who Boris is or why I would ask about Boris. What's your name, friend? I oh. I am <laughs> Boris Stovich. So I could have asked him about himself before asking him what his name was. I am the gatekeeper of Borgov Castle. Is it not true that he who guards the gates is the Keystone Speaker? I don't even know what that means, so I can't tell you whether it's true or not. This is the gate to Borgov Castle. You can see it in the distance behind here. I am here to make certain that only welcome guests may enter through here in the daytime. At night, this gate is guarded by huge necrotars, who make certain no one tries to enter without permission. Well, we've managed to sort of sedate another undead abomination, so maybe we can sedate them too. We should come back at night. The town of Mordavia is to the east of here. Turn to the east as you leave and continue until your way is blocked by rocks. Then turn north and you will find the gates of the town. I am aware, thank you. Uh, apparently I can't ask him to be let in, which is not too surprising. Do you like candy? <laughs> that didn't do anything. Thank you. These remind me of the ones my wife used to make. Did I actually give him candy? I still have candy. <laughs> okay. Apparently I just have infinite candy, and so I gave him a little bit. 
Uh, yeah, 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 healing potion, that's fine. I'm just trying to decide if there's anything else he might be fond of. I, it was just a whim with candy. I was surprised that it actually did a thing. Would you like some flowers? Thank you. I used to gather flowers for... Oh, that was too many years ago to think about. Yeah, I've accidentally figured something out here. He has a soul. Or at least a soul mate. Uh, did she like... Signs of Satan? Oh, did she like pie? I'll bet she liked pie. Who wouldn't like pie? That didn't do it. That didn't... That okay, didn't. she didn't like pie. <laughs> uh, did she like flint? Did she like rocks? Did she like healing potions? Did she like evil incantations? Did she like garlic? <laughs> that didn't... That didn't... You bite off a bit of one of the garlic cloves. Watch out werewolves. Not to mention dates. <laughs> Okie dokie! <laughs> Be proud! Did she like whisk brooms? That didn't. That didn't. No. That didn't. Hmm. Maybe now I can just talk to him? I gave him two things. I feel like it would be a three things kind of things. <laughs> this nah, he doesn't say anything new. Okay, well, I, I've gotten a little bit of favor from him, but I think I need more than that. Uh, and I suppose that there's probably no way to just cheese my way in. <laughs> Let's just climb the gate. Yeah, he'll he'll really appreciate it if we just start knock on gate. There's no need to knock. I am the gatekeeper after all. Though I'm afraid that I cannot let you in. I'm under strict orders not to open the gate for anyone, unless the master instructs me to do so. Well, let's climb over it then. I'm afraid <laughs> I can't allow you to do it. You decide that it might be better to wait until no one is looking. <laughs> right, to so do that at night. It'll take a lot more. Okay, we could murder the guy. <laughs> That's a, that's a solution. If you dare throw that at me, young man, I'll sick my necrotars on your... Bring it you on! Take your target practice, El no, bring it on! If you you <laughs> <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. That didn't do... <laughs> I, I don't know, I've, I'm out of items to try on him. I'm shocked that I got two interesting things, but I, I seem to be out. That's Nothing else makes any kind of sense. Did your did your lost love like I oil? Didn't. No. Okay. Does does the gate like oil? No. Okay. Um, okay. So that's that's interesting. There's clearly more to be done here. I actually wanted to remain in sneak mode just to bulk up my sneaking ability. Bye, young man. May the fireplace be warm and the drink cold at your journey's end. Thank you. That's. Perfectly pleasant, actually. <laughs> he's a very creepy guy, but he doesn't say anything unpleasant. He's he's a pleasant creepy guy. Okay, so we threatened him for no reason. That was, you know... <laughs> hey, I got this dagger. No, 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 I'm just saying I have it, and I wasn't going to throw it at your face or anything. Well, those are very blue. Wildflowers bloom with the autumn weather. You pick a few. Ah, okay, so that just gives me more flowers. Yeah, and I've, I've figured out what to do with the flowers. I doubt that I'm supposed to do that multiple times, and I doubt that uh, that it, there are multiple uses for the flowers, but I may as well have more. It doesn't hurt anything. Can I go west? That's a big no. <laughs> you wouldn't be walking that way if I could go west. to that. That's not going to work. I'm hiding. Uh, okay, I can go east, though. I'm just trying to think if there's anything particularly... I think I've found the interesting things in the forest. It's the city and the uh, the castle, and otherwise you're going to have to go to the swamp if you want intrigue. This is not a very big area. In fact, it kind of reminds me of Quest for Glory 1. There was that sort of forest area south of, uh, south of the town that was not huge and just sort of a big square, and really it was the things on the periphery that were interesting. Doesn't look like I can go further east. Maybe. This looks familiar, actually. 
Oh, I can go further east. Good for me. Well, this looks like a mirror image. <laughs> Actually, the forest is just one giant evil mirror. Funny how that works. <laughs> Curious. Well, this is pleasant. I doubt I can go north from here. I... maybe? Well, I can... what? <laughs> Where, where, where are you going? Is that where I clicked? Ooh, I found a thing! The majestic mountains in the background provide a beautiful contrast to the grim gravestones and crypts of the cemetery. Whoa! Well, that's definitely protected by Satan! <laughs> Too bad I uh, went into this before getting a chance to see that. Let's let's get killed. Let's get killed. I 100% chance of death right here. Just just touch it. Just just touch the door. Y you going to read that? No, no, don't feel like it. It is deathly silent beyond the door. <laughs> yeah, that that's not the right voice at all. The door is locked and very solid. Uh, yep, I can't budge the door. No surprise there. Examine it. A uh, large lock secures the door. An intricate crest with the single word Borgov. Oh, that's interesting. So this is like the, the cemetery of the Borgovs, presumably. An inscription on the door says, House of Po. May she rest forever. Well, that, that's the nature of death. That's not a choice. She will rest forever. What? Great Scott, that rotting corpse sure you, you said you sheesh, right. not Great Scott. Fortunately, it was just a dead body, not some sort of horrible undead creature. Those only come out at night. Yeah, but really, that was that was not an appropriate, like, that means of burial. Really you in any way. That... Pun doesn't even make any sense. You evidently don't earn much around here. You find nothing of any value. But um, is this the empty grave? You know that's reserved for myself. The grave has recently been opened here. Let's dive right on in. Don't worry. They'll put you in one of those in good time. <laughs> so grim. <laughs> the inscription on this headstone reads: Michael Med bumped <laughs> his head. In another man's bed, now he's dead. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, well, I don't have a shovel, and I can't steal What's-His-Face's shovel, so I can't really dig up any graves, but I... You don't need a coffin yet. Igor will surely have one for you when it's your turn to be buried. What a good guy Igor is. Uh, there... Wow, is there really just nothing I can do in this area? <laughs> uh... I mean, I can read all the gravestones, of course, but it doesn't look like I can... Realize the spirit of Barney Blue? To his lover was untrue. So, she knew just what to do. Fixed herself some Barney Stew. Wow! <laughs> Apparently cannibalism is a... Well, that, that's curious. Their coffins await their customers. Okie dokie! <laughs> totally normal! <laughs> Just monsters, not a big there deal. the body of Carrie Nation, who answered a vampire's invitation. Now there's cause for lamentation, it was a fatal recreation. Are they obsessed with rhyming couplets on every gravestone Arkin here? <laughs> tenor, walked at night. Arkin saw his final sight. Now the question seems to be, what in the world did Tenor see? That pun makes me want to punch my computer monitor. <laughs> this headstone reads, On a dare, Pasha Sperry spent the night in the cemetery. Something gave him such a fright that now he sleeps here every night. <laughs> I got nothing. This is just silly. It's just silly. This gravestone is marked. No effort could Elissa save. She passed into a watery grave. Her body was lost. Only her memory remains. Sorry, this is kind of a downer, but guys. 
<laughs> Faithful forever to his lost true love, laid beside her empty grave. Well, how well, oh God, <laughs> how pleasant. The stone is cold to the touch. The epitaph is that didn't. I was hoping I could just dig up the grave with my bare hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's. Mm, what do I have in here that's at all relevant? I feel like this. You know, this this must be relevant to that something. Did, that did, that did, <laughs> Let me perform that the blood ritual. Ooh ooh ooh! This is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. That didn't do anything. Okay, he just had to walk over there to determine that it was pointless. <laughs> Can I accidentally fall in the grave? <laughs> let's let's find out. Let's just save this as cemetery do. Just just walk right over here. Just just walk right over No, nope, nope, he's too clever for that. <laughs> oh well. I guess he knows better. Why does it only thunder here? What sort of nonsense is that? I need a meteorologist to solve this for me! Okay, well, we found that the cemetery exists, but we don't seem to have accomplished anything here. Oh well. I guess next time we'll continue exploring the forest. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, I've got hundreds more. Just click that channel button. Cheers! from Yaw Weasel.